Finally, today on Sound Ideas, there's high times ahead for Central Illinois this spring. The region's first ever cannabis festival kicks off at the Logan County Fairgrounds in Lincoln on April 20th. That's right, 420. WGLT's Lindsay Jones spoke to festival organizers Tiffany Jackson and Alicia Lashore about why 2024 is the right year to launch it. Jackson says as a cannabis entrepreneur, it's been on her mind. Actually, it's been on all of our mind for a few years now. Um, we noticed that there was a uh, just a, it's a disproportionate. There's always events and festivals in the Chicago area. And I mean, they're everywhere. But when you get to central Illinois, there's no festivals, nothing 420 friendly. And as the industry continues to, to boom and get you know larger and people start ex- more so normalizing the uh, uh, the cannabis industry. We had to do something down in central Illinois to make sure that we were on the map and that everybody knew, you know, that they can come to an Illinois festival, a safe space, responsible, and, uh, you know, enjoy and listen to bands and have fun. The festival is going to be at the Logan County Fairgrounds in Lincoln? Correct, yes. yes. How did you land on that as the, <laughs> the location for this festival? Well, also, Mr. Green's Dispensary is in Lincoln, too. So, uh, Mr. It. Green's is actually, uh, I own, uh, we're a part owner of Mr. Green's Dispensary as well. And uh, so, <laughs> with the dispensary in Lincoln and, you know, brand new, and we're bringing all this energy to Lincoln, you know, we just wanted to keep the party going there. So, Did you find that you had to jump through any, any hoops, or was there any resistance, you know, when you pitched, hey, I'm going to have a cannabis-friendly festival? Of course, uh, yeah, I mean... Because people are thinking Woodstock, you know, but we yeah. want more of a, um, uh, uh, the same peaceful energy, but more of a, you know, very, very laid back, responsible vibe, you know, kind of good times. Uh, we'll have a lot of security and stuff like that. But it was a bit of a reluctancy, but more so for possible, you know, consumption. But it'll be contained to one area. You know, everybody won't be walking around just doing their own thing. You know, we got a lot of oversight over that and we have it all uh, kind of managed with our security company to make sure it's all safe and, and good to go. So somebody shows up, they got their ticket, they're ready to go. What can they expect once they get there? You can expect to visit and be educated by a lot of the cultivators that will have their brands, um, give them good information and direction of maybe what they're looking for. Then you can also expect to get some food, some drinks. There will be um, alcohol beverages available too. It's a all 21 plus event. Um, there will also be music all day, DJs, bands, local and from out of town. Mm-hmm. Also, um, we're going to be hosting some games, some fun activities to do on the side while you're just chilling out. You can bring a lawn chair. There'll be chairs also um, around the fairgrounds. Just kind of a good vibe is the whole goal there. And goodie bags. You forgot about the goodie bags. <laughs> It'll be a lot of freebies there, I'll just say. <laughs> from the from the vendors. <laughs> from the vendors, yeah. Um, a lot of the cultivators are, are really supportive. They're really showing up in a big way, and uh, we're we're excited to actually share their swag and their brands, you know, with the community as well. Because some things we might not have tried, or it's uninfused, you know, you just want to try it. No, no trouble. We'll have it all there for you. You may not be able to answer this, but <laughs> are there any particular vendors that you're excited to see tabling at the festival just because of the products that they'll be bringing? Actually, oh, uh, I don't know if we should even say it, but that's okay. Uh, I'm excited actually about Cresco. Cresco, Lincoln is home for Cresco Labs as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we, we've always wanted to kind of foster that partnership. And we were so happy when we, you know, told them about it. They they jumped on the team right away. They were excited. They were right with us. Uh, also, uh, Arise and uh, 93 Boys and Days Off. They're pushing some new products. I can't say too much, but uh, we'll be able to highlight them exclusively also at the festival. So uh, it'll be great. And those are some popular brands in Central Illinois, too. So we're happy that they can kind of get that face time with folks who, you know, may not even know what this brand is about. They have had these lingering questions. This is the time to bring them all to the festival while you have a good time. So, again, this is the first in Central Illinois, but there were others that happened in Chicago. And so I wonder, was there any anything that you looked at that went really well in Chicago or anything that you looked at and saw that had been done that you were like, no, we're going to do this differently. Any, any takeaways from that? Well, the festivals in Chicago, maybe the, the biggest takeaway was the, the, the consumption piece. Um, sometimes it's not as controlled as, you know, everyone would like. And, mm-hmm. uh, it's, you know, I think it, I think our plan was to make sure that it was responsible and to make sure that it was like in a, more controlled environment so that there any aren't any issues all together these festivals are so chill i mean i don't know how many 420 friendly folks you know but 
they're like most of the, the chillest group of people I've yeah. ever had the mm-hmm. pleasure of working with and talking with and knowing in my entire life. So um, we're pretty confident that it'll be a pretty pretty calm crowd yeah so you mentioned you know there is some safe consumption allowed at the at the festival correct you've built in parameters for that what are those parameters um it will be in a a centralized location that uh, will give you a map of the place when when you walk through the door and you know most people will probably beeline that way but it'll be set up as like a couch kind of cozy uh uh corner or building really Mm -hmm. and um so that you know it's safe and you have some oversight over there just in case you know anybody needs anything or have any problems but I mean, it's kind of full servers over there, so we're excited about that part too. Do you feel like now is is a is a good time for this? Because yeah, it's been legal forever, but mm-hmm. even after that happened, there was still like so much resistance from pockets of the state. But now I feel like the number of these events, obviously most of them are in Chicago, but they've skyrocketed. Mm-hmm. And then I think it was 2023 last year they had the first music festival that was also like very much a cannabis event at mm-hmm. the same time. Yeah, uh, cultivate. Yeah, and they they did extraordinary. I mean, they really paved the way for you know events like this to even happen in Central Illinois. And we've still had a lot of resistance. You know, there's still a lot of uh, misunderstanding around the cannabis you know arena. But um, I'm I come from kind of a veteran background. I was in the army, and I've seen a lot of my friends. You know, who you know were PTSD related injuries. You know, physical injuries that have incorporated cannabis and have, you know, started to come back and jump back to, you know, have a normal life or be able to have some kind of quality of life. And to see those kind of stories, to see those kind of remarkable uh, transitions is, I mean, it's heartwarming for for us and it's it's why we do it, you know? And so this is the time I think we're more, uh, we understand more of the wellness part of the plant. You know, there's recreational, you know, it's party time too, but there's a lot of wellness behind it, and uh, that's the part that we really have been fine-tuning and pushing to the community as well. The festival on Saturday, April 20th at the Logan County Fairgrounds runs from 10 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at 420illinoisfestival.com.